UGD coming at you with an arms list. Glock 34, 17, Gen 3, Wilson tennis racket. Goodness. Boy, you just can't beat what I found on the arms list. It all started with the ad that popped up, and yeah, it had no picture. That means I'm your Huckleberry. And when meeting the guy, I'm thinking, okay, I'm getting a Glock 17 with a Glock 34 slide, Gen 3. And it started out real good. Look at that box. That box is, that's some minty goodness right there. In fact, that might even be Gen 5 minty goodness. And then I opened it up. And boy, the disappointment started. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, there it is. That is not a Glock slide, guys. Oh, that's some aftermarket goodness right there. Got some rub right there. And then if you didn't notice me whipping around, bam, Wilson. That's right. That is tennis racket wrap like a pro, which, yeah, first thought is this dude's hiding some stempling. And uh, no, no, he said it's minty underneath. And I thought I will say the unveiling for you guys but the bell of the ball bum, bum, that's it right there glock 34 goodness that is all factory goodness got some nice sightage on the front oh yeah i've never run the 34 and for you guys new to the glock world the 34 is the long slide of the nine millimeter it is the john holmes of the show right there guys Woo! can't wait to run that so yeah got a little issue here not real excited about the aftermarket Got an aftermarket barrel in it, hmm, regular old sights, and then this wrap. <laughs> yeah. He says, oh, there, it's just perfect underneath. So let's get rid of this stupid box, because you know what boxes are. Dun, 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 dun. It'd be a crash in the background. So we get this out, and ow, I got this little thing here. So we're going to do the unveiling right now. Has anybody ever taken off tennis racket wrap? I have no damn idea how to do this. Da, 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 da. Let's add some music to this. What the hell? Dun, dun, dun. Ba, dun, dun. Oh, it's coming off easy. No stempling. Remember, he's oh, that's minty underneath. Ba, 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 ba. Oh my goodness, it is minty on this side, and this is your cop side, and that looks real good. Oh yeah, he was not fooling. Now I'll tell you what. As ridiculous as this sounded, after a while I kept playing with the gun. And I thought, actually, that's a really good idea. It is nice and spongy, but no, that's not what we do on the UGG channel. We look at it, and guys, oh, that's a win right there. That is minty goodness. Whew, dodged a bullet there. But now, what have we got to do here? Now, we've got the 17 slide. I'm going out to lunch today with the bucket. Yeah, the bucket and I go to lunch, and we're kind of talking about, you know, it'd be a cool video is a lot of guys do these uh, P90 builds. And, of course, we've done the poly... And if you haven't seen that video, check it out. I'll do a link down below or up there one way or another if I can figure it out. Do they run any worse than a Glock? Now, Glocks are, you know, they're known for just being reliable. They think things just absolutely run. So I'm going to save this. I think we're going to do something. Even though we've done some 17s, let's do some testing. See if we can make that a little gooder right there. I don't know. Maybe put some sights on this thing. I don't know. Well, then as I'm looking at my oh, 34 bell of the ball, I ran into a problem. Yeah, you guys, when you're out gun shopping, you get distracted with the Wilson grip wrap. You might want to check, bam. <laughs> yes, there are no internals in this gun. Can I get back? No ejection, no firing pin. I got nothing. Yeah, so got to give a shout out right here. It, it only took a couple days. Alpha One Outdoors, they're out of the Colorado and getting here to the Kansas really quick. So we've got the internals to throw in it. And guys, I'm telling you what, hmm. We'll see what we can do with this. And I've got an idea, and I throw this out, is that red dots have become all the rage. In fact, some ass clown said on the YouTubes that if you are not running a red dot, you are gun Amish. Well, guys, I live in an Amish community, and I take offense to that. I'm near the Yoder, Kansas, and those dudes roll horses all the time. But he might have a point. I don't do well with red dots. But can you take one of these traditional uncut slides and find an alternative that will work for it. I don't know. So I think that might be a future video. We'll put some internals in this thing. We'll do some work with this hot rod right here. We've got plenty to work with for, uh, I think, for at least a month, guys. I'm pretty excited about it. Now, tomorrow, that will be Sunday, I've got a huge announcement of the direction this channel is going. You guys are going to love it. It involves a ninja. Hey, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up if you think I've lost my ninja loving mind. Yeah, maybe so. He hates these cans! Stay away from the cans! Oh, I 
right, gas pumper! <laughs> <laughs>